Yay! Hello guys, we are in my car today because I just need to switch up. I'm so tired of filming in my house, needed to get some fresh air, so we're here. You guys can't tell by the title of this video. We are talking all about how to start a YouTube channel in 2021. What are things that you need to know for starting a channel slash growing a channel? But I think it's really helpful that you guys are getting advice from someone who isn't like David Dobrik or like super, super huge up there right now because I think it's important if you guys are just starting from the beginning to just get advice from people who are one step ahead of you or a couple steps ahead of you. This video has been highly requested, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get right into it. You guys have to understand that this market is completely saturated. There are millions of creators trying to get their name out there, trying to start their personal brand, trying to start their own business through YouTube, trying to just make an extra income. Be prepared, know what you're getting yourself into because I think it is so easy to look at other YouTubers such as Emma Chamberlain and other YouTubers who have just kind of blown up fast to look at that and be like, oh, like YouTube is easy. You just film yourself, you just edit, you know, you do all the stuff and then you post, which while that may be true, it comes with a lot of work that I don't think people are ready to understand. You just have to figure out and do your own research on SEO. What do people like? What are people typing in right now? What are people searching? But also do videos that you personally like because you never know, those are sometimes the videos that are super unique and just go viral immediately. So my next kind of tip is to know what you are doing YouTube for. I'm telling you, if you don't know what you're doing it for, you will burn out so quickly and leave this platform faster than you joined it i promise people just think that it is such an easy thing to just kind of throw yourself into and then boom followers subscribers uh, brand deals and i'm here to tell you that that is not the truth for most people most people start out on this platform making no money for the first two three years probably and then they start seeing revenue this has to be something that you really love to do or something that you are genuinely passionate about because there are so many other people who want it way more than you do if they are more passionate than you and if they are willing to put in more work and more time and more energy into this platform they are going to be seeing results and unfortunately you won't be if you think that spending 30 minutes on a video is something that's going to blow your channel up that's not the case you really have to put time into YouTube these days because no one's going to watch average content when there are already youtubers who are producing high quality content this sounds like a downer video but it's not I promise it's, it's gonna get better but I've just got to get all the nitty-gritty stuff out the way because guys it really is 2021 YouTube has been out for so long you kind of have to know what you're doing if you're trying to start this and actually see success in it it's different if you're just starting it for a hobby if you're starting it for a hobby do what you want it's for the memories it's for you essentially but if you're trying to actually grow this into a business and actually start seeing results in it these are my like hardcore tips so there we go the next thing that I will say that will hopefully make you guys happy is that gear doesn't matter I'm currently filming with the Canon M50 and I also have the Canon G7X Mark II but I started my channel with an iPhone 6s so with that being said you do not need high high quality gear in order to do anything on YouTube. There are so many ways to be able to edit really aesthetic videos or really good quality videos using what you've got already. So don't feel the need to have to buy a MacBook or buy Final Cut Pro or buy this and this and this, especially if you haven't put the time into it because the worst thing is that you find out you're not actually passionate about this and you bought thousands of dollars worth of gear that you're not gonna use. A lot of you guys have probably found me from my how to edit YouTube videos on an iPhone easy. It was a video that I did about a year ago and guess what guys? Guys, YouTube just removed it so everyone go and spam YouTube because I'm really really upset but that video essentially helped so many of you guys just start your channels because it truly is possible to edit videos on your iPhone let me know if you guys want me to do it again but currently my channel is under siege the next thing that you need to know before starting a channel in 2021 is that you have to and I mean you have to make good quality content this may sound like a pretty general and simple thing to know, but it really isn't because I think it can be really easy when you first start YouTube to be like, oh, like this is a great piece of work. Like this is awesome. And I'm not saying that your first video has to be perfect in any means at all because my first video was not, okay? It really is true. No one's going to invest the time into watching average mediocre content when there are, again, other content creators who are working 100 times harder making amazing content. You have to understand why people would turn to your content. You have to answer that for yourself because if you don't know the answer then no one else is going to know the answer as well so really find a reason as to why people will subscribe to you for me i know that my content is inspiring so i graduated high school a year early i moved to new york city and i'm not in college and i'm currently working as an actor and a social media content creator so that's inspiring that's a separate niche that like is meant for me that will help me grow over time because i know that that's like a really specific thing but if you're just kind of joining the youtube lifestyle community and you're just like oh i want to make vlogs and advice videos you you don't really know what you're doing like there's so many other people who understand
understand who their target audience is. They're just, why would they care about you, you know? And again, really harsh way to put it, but there are millions of content creators out here. So many people creating lifestyle content. If this is something that you love to do, that shouldn't even scare you. Like that should be even more motivating for you to go ahead and get out there. So if you're feeling discouraged already, YouTube just might not be the platform for you. I'm not gonna go ahead and lie and be like, oh, YouTube's not competitive because it is. There are so many content creators out here and you're basically fighting for people's attention. Like you want people's attention to be on your video so that your video does well. So again, you really have to understand why people would subscribe to you and you have to have a pretty definite answer so that other people can see that hopefully that helps <sighs> the next thing that I'm gonna say may hurt a lot of your guys's hearts but um stop doing sub for sub shit like stop stop commenting on other youtubers videos being like oh small youtuber here oh whatever like you're already just coming off as selfish and only caring about yourself. I'm sorry, I will put it out there. And I get it, it's hard to start gaining subs as a small YouTuber. Not gonna lie, when I was at my first 100 subscribers, I just saw everyone else doing it too. So this has been around for so long. Everyone thinks that commenting sub for sub or like all this stuff is going to help you, but in reality, that doesn't gain you anything other than a fake ghost sub that's going to just kind of disappear. And stop doing it. It really is embarrassing, honestly. Think of any big YouTuber that you know. I know for sure that you don't see them commenting sub for sub and I also know that they probably didn't do it while they were starting their journey and going up because you know why if you're confident in your content you wouldn't have to beg for subs you wouldn't have to ask for it because people will genuinely see the work that you're putting in and see oh like wow I would actually want to subscribe to this person even the whole like let's make YouTube friends like no that's not how you make YouTube friends I have tons of YouTube friends that I've genuinely met through contacting them on Instagram and actually getting to know them and then FaceTiming them and then getting to know them like like a normal human being Stop commenting on YouTubers profiles like, oh, you, you want to be YouTube friends? Like, oh my gosh, definitely check out my content. You sound selfish and I know you didn't watch my video. Like, I just know you did it. With that being said, instead of doing that, I highly suggest commenting on content, but actually commenting something genuine. I always, as a content creator, I always, when I'm watching videos, I always check out content creators or the little comments from people who just comment genuine things. Like, if it's just like, oh my gosh, girl, like your hair looks like really, really good. Like, or I also read that book. I love it so much what were your thoughts if you're actually genuinely commenting something that was about the video I am more likely to check out your channel than someone who just comments oh I also did this video on my channel come check me out like that is so it's honestly disrespectful like think about it someone just spent eight hours on a video like wanting to get genuine interaction and then they get some random person who just wants to grow their channel but definitely comment commenting is one of the best ways to grow your channel because it actually gets your name out on different platforms like it gets your name out on different people's channels people will check out your stuff you just have to be confident enough to know that people will check out your stuff I've gotten so many comments from people who are just like oh I saw your comment on so-and-so's video and like I just wanted to check you out because your content seems really fun and then that's it people will come to your channel Channel, but stop asking for it. So the next tip that I have to say is something that I want you guys to really think about. There are only very few reasons as to why people actually stop and subscribe to your content. And I will give you guys, there's a truck. The first one is that you are helping them find a solution to a problem. Whether if you're giving a how-to video, like for me, my most top video before YouTube took it down was how to edit videos on an iPhone easy. That video gained almost 500,000 views. So with that being said, that's a video that people will search. I help them find a solution to a problem. This could also be that someone is just simply unmotivated. If that is their issue right now and you solve that by inspiring someone and motivating someone, that is finding a solution to their problems. The next reason is relatability and this is something that has carried on. It's the reason why Emma Chamberlain blew up. It was just being real. Like what is something in your life that people can relate to? Stop kind of blaming everything on not having this and not having that and you know having to work a job because guess what? They want to be able to relate to someone who's also going through something that they're going through. So if you work a nine-to-five job in retail and someone else does too they're going to be more likely to subscribe to you because they're like oh like this person actually does what I do as well again stop saying that you're not interesting that you're not relatable because you are and you're probably more relatable than lots of huge youtubers that are already blown up and already have fame and success I feel like I'm kind of missing something but essentially people subscribe if you are helping them with something so if you're good at financial advice or you're good at growing plants in your garden like find what you're good at and make sure that you're catering your content towards that audience that wants that help so the next thing that you guys should know about starting a YouTube channel in 2021 I mean I just highly suggest it period even if you're not posting your content just like vlogging your content and vlogging your life it's just so rewarding and it's something that you will always regret that you didn't do 
if you don't start now. So say you don't even want a YouTube channel and you're just still watching this video, hi. There's just something so beautiful about physically seeing like where you were and what you were doing, you know, at a specific time. Starting YouTube was one of the best decisions that I've ever made, like for real. And now that I'm making money off of this platform and through brand deals and through all of this stuff, it's just so crazy because I know that five years ago, Jada would just be so happy to see me right now, like doing exactly what I love doing on this platform. Just start, just start. Even if it's just recording your content for no one to see, do it because it is so cool to see in a couple of years where you come from. It's 11 11, no way. I literally looked at my phone and it's 11 11. That's so, oh my gosh. And then the last thing that you should know before starting a YouTube channel in 2021 is that you have nothing to lose. Like you literally have nothing to lose. You posting content on YouTube doesn't cost you anything. It shouldn't cost you anything. It's basically something free that you're able to potentially make money from if you keep going with it, you know? It's going to be so rewarding in the end, wherever you end up. One thing that I will say is that as soon as you actually start YouTube and actually start investing time into YouTube, it will be very clear if this is something that you like to do. So even if it ends up being something that you just kind of want to toss away, something that you don't want to do, and it's just something that you want to do as a hobby, you'll realize that quickly I promise like it, it will become very obvious if this is actually something that you wanted to pursue or something that you were just kind of like oh that would be nice I will be honest and say that a lot of people realize after starting YouTube that it's not for them like being in charge of their own schedule it's not for them having to edit videos and record videos takes a lot of time and it's not for them and that's okay but experiment like I always highly suggest that in whatever career path or whatever thing that you do experiment you know you only live one life um yellow <laughs> but like you really do only live one life so if youtube is something that you've always wanted to experiment with do it like you literally have nothing to lose it's a platform there's space for everybody just do your thing and i wish you guys all the best of luck so with that being said i gave really kind of obvious tips but just things that i wanted to go more in depth about because i think again it can be easy to watch huge youtubers give youtube advice but they're already like successful and super, super rich and famous. So it just makes sense for me to come on here and give my candid advice on how to navigate this crazy world of YouTube. And yeah, I hope it helps so much. And YouTube, if you take this down, I literally will not know what to do with my life. Feel free to share this with anyone else who is your friend, who may want to start a YouTube channel. I love you guys so much. Take care and I will see you guys in a future video. Bye.